Game on. Hey there, game gurus. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to assemble your GRS Target Pro from Sindin Technologies and T-Sticks. These are right now available for pre-order right now on the website. I put a link down below. But I'm going to show you how easy it is to assemble the GRS Sindin Target Pro. Okay, so this is what you will receive. Uh, two separate packages. That's right. These will come shipped independently. Uh, this was due to uh, being able to ship from our uh, manufacturing facility to you. Uh, it looks like a gun. So we couldn't ship it all in one box uh, for those reasons. So you will receive two separate boxes for your GRS Send-In Target Pro. We'll first take a look at the smaller box here and then go to the bigger box. But again, it will come in two independent boxes. If you receive one, Hopefully the other will only be a day behind or come the same day. But unfortunately, we do ship it from the from the factory from one location. But you know how UPS or the post service and things can happen. But make sure you get two of these boxes for your GRS and Target Pro. So inside the smaller box, you see here we have our foam. But on the foam itself, we do still include a nice velvety felt to give you more of a premium feel. But in the smaller box, you have your gun stock. And that's it right here. It is made out of uh, wood. It is uh, uh, laminated uh, on the top of the wood, but it's got a really good weight. This thing's got some heft to it. I'll take a measurement of the entire weight of the gun when it's all assembled. But this is pretty much the only part you need to assemble. There are one, two, three, four, five, six screws here and two that attach it to the gun itself. There, this will uh, have to be opened. It's two separate pieces. It opens up very easy, but we do need to open it because the wire for the gun does come through this hole. But you can see how that looks. I'm gonna move this to the side just for a moment. Get it out of the way so we can open up our primary box, which is right here. And this has the majority, obviously, of the Jira Sindin Target Pro gun components. So open up the main box here. And again, with the foam, we do include a nice velvety feel, try to give you a premium feel. We always try to give you best quality experience through the entire process, including the packaging. And you can see right here, here is what you will receive. Uh, different, different parts, but not too many. We do include a small Phillips head screwdriver, which is required to assemble your GRS Sindin Target Pro. Again, we try to include everything you would need uh, in the packaging. So it's a small screwdriver here. There are some screws right here that are needed to complete your assembly. It's in this small bag right here. Now we have a couple of silica packs, which obviously we will not need. Just keeps the machine uh, dry during shipment. We do have different tops. So here is a green top for player two. We have installed on the gun already the player one uh, version on there, but these are very easy to pull off, put on. Put them down here just for a second. Slide this little piece of plastic off right here. Now, if you have the uh, arcade one up Big Buck Hunter, we do have compatibility with that, with this cable. This will allow you to connect the USB uh, A to here, and then this will connect to your Big Buck Hunter. And then, of course, on your gun, you can have player one like this for Big Buck Hunter or take this off. We have a secondary gun and put this on for player two. So we do include those or take them off entirely and not put anything on there at all. But the Jira Sindin Target Pro is based on Sindin technology. So this will work with anything that the Sindin Lycans will work with. PC, Batacera, RetroPie, Raspberry Pi, the GRS Viper, Linux, even Android is being worked on. So. If it works with Sindin software, our gun will work as well, but we have the additional benefit of being able to connect to the Arcade one of Big Buck Hunter if you wanted to do that. I'm gonna remove this cable just for the moment, put it to the side, and we'll take the gun out of the box, move the box out of the way. You can see, once again, it's a nice velvety material on the bottom just to protect it during shipment. You can see here is the gun itself. And again, it is based on Sindin technology, which does use a camera. Here, we have two buttons on this side, and two additional for a total of four buttons on each side. We do have the solenoid inside here for force feedback for when you pull the trigger or move your uh, reloader right here. We also have a uh, four direction stick on here as well. Of course, our trigger and a long, very long uh, USB-A cable. So the only thing we really need to do to assemble this is to take the the stock right here, we separate it in two separate pieces, 
run our cable through and put the screws in. That's really it. We're gonna get started on that right now. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna just simply take this. It, uh, it comes apart in two separate pieces. It's held together with screws, but there are no screws in here right now. And this thing has a really nice weight to it. All we're gonna do is just pry this thing apart until we get inside. Use your fingernail, just like so. You see it separates very easy. We have our two separate halves of the gun. Now since the gun is facing this way, I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna wrap my cable through here. I'm gonna put this one aside just for a moment. You can see it's all routed very well. Even a protective laminate inside here. We're gonna take this and move it aside for the moment. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna unzip this a little bit just to make it easy er, I should say, easier. Proper pronouns there to get this all out of the way. You can see we do include a very long cable and we have a stress relief right here. So let's go let this cable move out of the side just to get out of the way for a minute. I'm gonna put actually zip tie on so that this long cable doesn't get out of control during the assembly process. Let's twist it and get it out of the way. I'm gonna also move our two plastic covers out of the way as well. So at this point, we will eventually need our screwdriver, so I'm gonna take this out of the bag right now. So it's a nice little screwdriver included, no charge, there we go. And of course, we're gonna need our screws right here. I'll put that over just for a side for a moment. So again, we're just gonna take this, move this out of the way for a second, and route it just so we're able to uh, run the cable through and I'm gonna slide this in. That's why there's all this extra room over here because the cable's gonna slide in here. And I'm gonna start actually just doing this. This is gonna be right there. Do a bend of our cable and try and get it as close in here as possible like so. And all we're gonna do at this point now is take the other half of the uh, wood stock Get it? Woodstock. Sorry, Woodstock. Bad pun there. And we're going to simply clip this on top of that. And you can see there are a little piece of wood right here and here that'll help you guide and you know it's in the right spot and press fit it. It'll, it'll close very easily. The wire should be out of the way when you do it. And then we'll start screwing it together. It's just that simple. Okay, and once you have it in the right spot, it'll close very easily. You can see it's all closed. We're gonna drop our gun though, stay over there. So all we're gonna do now is we're gonna put screws in all these spots right here, and then the gun will simply slide together very easily. So we're gonna go now to our little bag here, take out some of our screws. I mean, include a couple extras. You always include extras in case you lose some. Now you can see inside the bag, I'll show you real quick, we have two separate length, or two different types or lengths of screws. We have a longer and a shorter. The shorter one is we're gonna to use to close this up. The longer ones will be used to join the gun to the stock. So I'm just gonna put these in here. And again, uh, we do have a uh, metal receiver. So you don't have to screw super tight. Finger tight is fine. It'll hold together just fine. So I'm just doing initially, just pressing them in just to have a little bit of a grip and I'll go over one more time to make sure it's all solid. The assembly time is very quick. Need two more screws. Actually, one more screw. What am I talking about? I just need one more. Okay, once you have all your screws in, just go on one more time. Again, they don't have to be super tight. Finger tight is fine. Okay, we're almost done. Now we'll simply need two of these longer, thinner screws to join the, the butt of the gun or the stock of the gun to the gun itself. The rest of these are spares. You don't need this bag anymore, but put it aside. If you lose a screw or lose any internal part, we have some extras in here for you. So I'm gonna put this over here. And again, all you need to do at this point is slide this together without losing your screwdriver. 
Now we have a space here for the wire to go in. So just slide it in gently. That's it. Once you press it together, we're gonna to slide our two screws in and these will lock this in place. So again, I'm gonna tighten it just finger tight, nothing too crazy. And you have now completed assembly of your GRS Sinden Target Pro. So that's it. It assembles very quickly. Just have to add the stock to the back of the gun. And that's it. You're ready to go. You're ready to play some light gun games. Again, we have different colored tops here depending on what you need. You can have the green one on for player two, like so. Or you can have the orange on for player one, like so. Or leave it with none on there. Make it look more realistic if you want. And of course, we also include in every kit this little adapter right here, which will take your GRS Sinden Target Pro and make it fully compatible with the Arcade 1UP Big Buck Hunter. Instead of having the light plastic game guns, uh, well, you can have an owl much more heavy. This thing has got some weight. Um, that's it, not too much more to say. If you do want to get your own GRS Sinden Target Pro that's compatible with the Arcade 1UP Big Buck Hunter or any Sinden light gun game, well, it's available pre-order right now. I'll put a link down below. Well, that's it for this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out in the YouTube algorithms. It takes one second for you, but it means a lot to me if you could do so. But that's it for this video. And as fun as this is, it's pretty awesome being able to play light gun games on modern televisions. And Sinden really has awesome technology here that we've now partnered with. But as fun as that is, remember, it doesn't take place with your family and friends. Take a moment to just give a call to your family and friends. And let them know, hey, you love them. You miss them because tomorrow is never promised. But you know what? In between those times, game on. Are you looking for that arcade experience at home? If you don't have the space for a full-size arcade in your house or endless funds, then you need the GRS build a It's arcade quality without the arcade price. From someone you can trust. The GRS build a is very simple and easy to assemble in one six scale arcade computer you can build yourself. You can buy interchangeable controllers for every gaming option you need to play the games the way they're meant to be played. You can also design your own artwork or purchase artwork separately to make your GRS build a look like the machine of your dreams. The GRS build a is also the only home system STEM certified. Come see what all the YouTube creators are raving about. GRS build a Game on. Sit, Blue Blue, sit. Good dog.